Yeah, it's obviously about injuries. Um, got a couple myself. Got a shoulder injury. Actually, two shoulder injuries. One of them I can't do like a front kind of raise kind of movement properly. Very hurting. The other one is like more like a, sh a press kind of movement. It hurts a bit. That's basically for me doing loads of dips and loads of chin ups when I first started training. Like literally every single day. Trying to lose loads of weight because I was pretty o overweight before. Um, so I definitely recommend you to have at least two, three days of upper body rest. Just don't go mad like every single day. It's, it's going to go wrong in the end. Your body can only take so much before it actually starts breaking down. You also knee, big one from me doing not complete full reps on leg press, putting some weight on it. After a while, my knee just stopped giving out because, well, you know, if you're not doing a full movement, then you're getting weaknesses in certain parts of your body and stuff, in that certain part of the movement. So, going up and down the leg press, you're doing half the movement, and obviously you're getting weak in the other parts of the movement of the body where it does the rest of the movement, that probably doesn't make quite a lot of sense, but if you think about it logically, yeah, if I do the whole movement and be strong in that complete whole movement, obviously you don't have any imbalances and injuries, and obviously my quads got a lot stronger than my knees, due to me doing a very limited kind of movement, so definitely not a very good idea to do, you know, not complete full movement, so you don't have any injuries, and obviously imbalances in your body, because you train your body to you go in that certain degree with that sort of weight, which basically means that you get injuries and imbalances in other places. Yeah, um, training and injuries. I've also got another one from my uh, maybe I'm, I'm not quite sure what it is right now. It's more like a tendon or ligament injury from my um, bicep, tricep kind of area F from something outside of training where I basically quit and something for too long and end up with a strain there. Uh, what it's done good for me though is it means that I've actually, when I do anything like pet deck and stuff with that now, I make sure I don't actually use a grip on and just put the pads on my um, forearm to kind of wrist area and just push with that. Don't push it with a grip, just push it and I feel a lot more now. I have a lot more than I did when I was using grip because when you're gripping, there's only other muscles taking over to do that movement, like your biceps start taking over, other things start taking over. And uh, you want to just get the muscle working efficiently, so not a bad thing having an injury at the moment, just for efficiency of getting the chest better. Rather not have it, but at the end of the day, it has helped me in a ironic kind of way of improving my chest training by not using my grip so much. So hopefully that would help someone out if they got a similar sort of issue. Just like take away the grip away from things as much as the can really do anything, and that really help you out. Like I use hooks. When I do um, pull downs now, and like your back space doing a lot of the work now, and your your grip isn't so it's taking away another mission, another muscle, another you know bit of energy that is now going to be spread to the back as opposed to getting on that muscle. So trying to be efficient as you can, and not really put muscle on the stretch you shouldn't have to. So so hopefully this helps me out.